Hey, how's it going guys? JT Judgment here and welcome back to another Legend review here on my channel and today we have got a very very highly requested player, one of the new legends that was added into Ultimate Team this year, the 88 rated centre forward slash centre attacking midfielder, is it Yari Litmanen or Litmanen? I'm going to apologise in advance guys because I'm probably going to butcher a lot of the legends names, especially the new ones that have been added into Ultimate Team, so uh, yeah apologies there guys but I'm pretty sure uh, it is Yari Litmanen. Now, when it comes to stats with this guy, I gotta say, I didn't know much about this card before buying him, if anything, you know, other than his card face stats, but I looked at his in-game stats, guys, and some of them did surprise me, you know, 94 attack positioning, 86 vision, 88 reactions, 86 ball control, 88 shot passing, 89 finishing, and 86 long shots. Those stats are pretty fantastic, and when you look at his stats on the card, guys, for a centre attacking midfielder, uh, he does look to be very, very good, you know, 82 pace, 81 dribbling, that massive 87 shooting stat, so you guys can expect uh, you know what to see in the goals um 83 passing 64 physical and 32 defending now like i just made a joke about guys 87 shooting on the card is the stat that i personally was looking at and what a lot of people are probably going to look at when buying uh this card and i've got to say guys Wow, this, this card really, really did surprise me, you know? Now, he is a legend, and I was hoping and praying that he was going to be good in-game, like I do with every single legend that I buy. But, wow, seriously, guys, he really did outperform nearly every stat. It was absolutely ridiculous how good this boy was. The very first game, to give you an idea on how good he was, the very first game he played for me, he scored five goals. The very next game, he scored a hat-trick. The very next game, he scored two goals and picked up three assists. That's absolutely bloody bonkers, guys, for a player with stats like that, you know? So i got to say that this boy, wow, he's, he's perfect, you know? And I'm glad to tell you that this early on in Ultimate Team, Yari Litmanen was so good for me that I have found my very first perfect player in Ultimate Team. And I hope you guys, for those of you that have used him, I hope that he was this good for you. You know, you're going to be seeing from the goals, one of the main things that I love to do with this card shooting from a distance now that's how i play you know when i use players in ultimate team no matter who i use i try long shots with everyone you know it's how i play it's how i've always played it's how i enjoy playing fifa and lipmanen suited my play style up absolutely perfectly his shooting from a distance was absolutely crazy very 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 accurate every single time i shot with him it was crazy how accurate he always was and consistent when scoring from a distance you know so if you are somebody like me that likes shooting from outside the box this is a legend guys that you will definitely need to try as soon as you can afford him now moving on to the other things that i liked about this card is not just shooting guys even though shooting is a big big thing with this card for me it's pace for me it was pretty fantastic you know when he hit his top sprint speed guys i gotta say he felt a lot faster than what his stats do suggest he's got 82 pace on the card um and in game he's got 83 sprint speed but i gotta say guys he felt like he had at least 85 pace i don't know what was going on the defenders that i came up against failed to catch him so i gotta say massive thumbs up there and definitely no disappointment to be had his dribbling and ball control was another surprise i've used players that have a dribbling stat similar to Lipmanen and they have not been the greatest but he really really did outperform that stat for me and he was dribbling in and out of defenses very very easily like you're going to be seeing uh, with some of the goals now what i found very effective with Lipmanen is just doing fake shots and ball rolls now he's only got three star skills now me personally three star skills is enough for a player in any position you know i will have fun no matter what skill moves they have don't get me wrong but three star skills is kind of a minimum of what i would like um and you know just abusing the ball rolls and fake shots with Lippmann and really did prove to be useful and you're going to be seeing a couple of goals showing that um, in this video guys so if you're not a skiller in this game um, and you want to try Lippmann and definitely just 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 use the ball rolls and the fake shots you know and occasionally do um, a roulette and whatnot and you'll be surprised on how useful that they come across you know moving on to his weak foot guys he does have four star weak foot but it felt like a five star for me guys off the top of my head I cannot remember him 
him missing a single opportunity inside the box for me with his weak foot. Now, don't get me wrong, outside the box, as if a player doesn't have five-star weak foot, then they are going to be a bit inconsistent when it comes to scoring from a distance. But inside the box, guys, is where you're going to be utilising it most. And my God, guys, Littmanen was more than useful. And it definitely, like I said, felt like a five-star. Strength for me, it was fantastic as well. He was keeping the ball from a lot of defenders that probably should have taken the ball off him. Another thing that surprised me with this card, and it really, really did make me enjoy using him that much more, you know? So in my personal opinion, not something you need to worry about with the legend Litmanen. Another thing about this card that I absolutely loved was his positioning, guys. Now, I used him as the centre forward in a 4-3-3 false nine formation. That formation seems to be my perfect formation. I always seem to win a lot of games using that formation, score a lot of goals. So that's been, you know, from the start of this Ultimate Team, my go-to formation. Uh, and Yari Litmanen from that position was an absolute god when it comes to positioning, guys. He was always finding himself uh, in good positions to do damage, making runs on his own. Uh, and I got to say, guys, that 94 attack position in stat in game doesn't let him down, guys. Even though he's got high attack in medium defensive, it felt like he had the perfect work rates, high attack in low defensive positioning guys very 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 good so when it comes down to it guys strengths with Litmanen pretty much everything weaknesses I gotta go out there and say it I didn't really find anything wrong with him you know he's got very good pace for a center forward or center attack in midfielder which is the positions that he should be used in my opinion he's got very very good dribbling and ball control very very good shooting especially with his right foot guys outside the box but is reliable on his left foot as well he's got very good passing his strength was very good his positioning is fantastic guys really the only thing you could do to this card to improve him is give him four star skills or five star skills other than that the boy is perfect let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts on the legend Litmanen if you have used him yourself but that's going to wrap up my thoughts I got to give him a final score of nothing less than a perfect 10 out of 10 the very first 10 out of 10 player that I've used so far and I'm so glad that it's early on you know so I hope you guys that wanted to see this review doesn't disappoint please leave a like if it didn't and you did enjoy and it did help you decide whether or not to buy him yourself and subscribe for more legend reviews to come from me very soon and as always from me please take care guys and i will see you all next time ta-da guys